What we're gonna do right here is go back, way back in time. The year is 1973, January. The biggest movie at the box office was The Poseidon Adventure, while over in TV land, shows like All in the Family, Sanford and Son, and The Waltons kept people entertained at home. With all sorts of political upheaval, ranging from the end of the Vietnam War and the Watergate scandal to Roe v. Wade, America needed some relief. That relief came in the form of Roberta Flack and her music. Welcome to another episode of The Rhino Report. January 22nd, 1973, Roberta Flack released Killing Me Softly with his song. In my eyes, I'm in my bed with his fingers, singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly. The title track and lead single of Flack's fourth studio album, an immediate hit. The song soared to number one on the Hot 100. Killing Me Softly with his song spent a total of five non-consecutive weeks at number one. That's more than any other record in 1973. The song was such a commercial and critical hit that it was a big winner at the 16th annual Grammy Awards, winning record of the year and best female pop vocal performance. Fun fact, Flack's win for Killing Me Softly with his song made history. It made Flack the first artist to take the prize for record of the year two years running. With her song, The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face, winning record of the year the previous year. The legacy of Killing Me Softly with his song was refreshed for a new generation in 1996, when Lauryn Hill and the Fugees took their version of the track to number one in the US, the UK, and 20 other countries around the world. Roberta Flack is celebrated in the new PBS special, American Masters, Roberta Flack, a beautiful career-spanning documentary that premiered just this month. Yeah. She rose from classically trained I always dreamed of stardom to social justice storyteller. Roberta Flack's talents extend beyond just music. The legendary songwriter and performer recently released the book The Green Piano, How Little Me Found Music. The 65th annual Grammy Awards descend on Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles this Sunday, February 5th, 2023. Hooray, Grammys! We're seriously rooting for Christine McVie's Songbird orchestral version in the best arrangements category. And of course, The Grateful Dead, within and out of the garden. Madison Square Garden, 81, 82, and yes, 83, which is up for the best box or special limited edition package. Let's go dead. Do yourself a favor, if you like what you just watched, smash that subscribe button. Let us know what you want to see on the next Rhino Report in the comments below.